Yo, what's going on, guys? Then my first simple snippets. Back with another video tutorial and operational research. And in this video, we're just going to be taking a quick short theory introduction to the concept of replacement theory. So, replacement theory is a subject or subtopic in operational research, which is basically involved and is used in decision making process of replacing a used equipment with a substitute, mostly a new equipment or a better usage. So what happens is in companies or in manufacturing companies, let's say you have different machines, right? So let's take an example of a car manufacturing company. So a car manufacturing company has different robots, which assemble all the different parts of the cars, right? So what happens is over the course of time, these machines or these robots will wear out and the maintenance required to maintain them is going to increase, right? Or let's, let's take another example. Let's take a very easy example of you guys as individuals. Let's say you buy a new car. So after five years, the resale value of the car is going to go down and the maintenance cost is going to go up, right? So every year, the resale value is going to go down. Every year, your maintenance is going to be increasing. So this is something that is causing you a loss, right? So this is where replacement theory is going to optimize and tell you when you should be selling your car to get the best value or the optimum value. So replacement might be necessary due to deteriorating property, which means that your objects or machines or cars or whatever you own, all the assets you own are deteriorating over, over the course of time or failure or breakdown. So even this is possible. Suddenly a machine breaks down, suddenly your car breaks down, some problem is going on. So this is where replacement is needed, right? So now mathematically we can categorize this replacement scenarios in four different types. So the number one is items that deteriorate with time, example, machine tools, vehicles, equipments, buildings, etc. So items that become out of date due to new developments. So let's say a new version of a car is coming or a new version of machine is coming or a new version of software is coming. The older one is going to be obsolete, right? It's going to go out of date and soon we will not be using it. So we have ordinary weaving looms by automatic. So manual things are going to be replaced by automatic things and so on and so forth. The third one is items which do not deteriorate but fail completely. So sometimes some machines which are produced by manufacturers come with a limitation or you know you get an expiry date so they say that after five years this is going to be completely wearing out or it can happen even before that right you cannot judge or you cannot tell when a machine or when a software or whenever an asset which is performing certain task can fail you know so you cannot even give warranty of electronic parts these days so they can fail anytime and the last is related to staff replacement that is this is not exactly related to objects this is related to real life people and what it sees that is the existing working staff in an organization gradually diminishes due to death or retirement or attrition or they change jobs and so on and so forth. So there is staff replacement. So this is a quick theory on replacement theory and we are going to be solving problems in replacement theory based on two different types. So the first one, as I mentioned, is replacement of items which deteriorate and whose maintenance cost increases with time. So this is number one. Number two is replacement of items that fail completely and suddenly. So sometimes they fail completely and suddenly we do not know or we cannot estimate when they can fail. So this is type two. So in type one, we have two different categories wherein in the first case, there is no change in money value. So what this means is, let's say you have 1000 rupees in 2018. Now the value of rupees keeps on fluctuating, right? Even in the global market, the dollar rate versus the rupee rate keeps on fluctuating. So what you have today, that is if you have 2000 or 1000 rupees in 2018 might not be the same value in 2020, right? So in first case, what you're saying is this value does not change over the course of time. So this is something that doesn't happen in real world scenarios, right? So this is where the case number two comes, wherein the value of money changes with time. So this is second type of problem. In the second type, that is replacement of items that fail completely and suddenly we have two different types wherein we have individual replacement policy and group replacement policy. So don't worry, we are going to be taking a look at each of these different types individually by taking numerical examples. Here, I just want to talk about the theory. And yeah, that's it for this video, guys. This was about the replacement theory in operational research, why we need replacement theory. In the next video, we'll start off with the first type that is replacement of items which deteriorate and whose maintenance cost increases with time. And we'll see the first case, that is this one, wherein the value of money doesn't change. And then we'll move on with the different types as well. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how this video was. Do share it with your friends as well. And if you haven't yet subscribed on this channel, make sure you subscribe so that you get notified whenever I upload further videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.